You know, long days in the shop, Rockstar keeps me going. That's not a commercial plug, it's the truth. It just actually keeps me going. So this 700 motor's going in that 800 rev chassis. I have the pickup for my Digitron, which I'm gonna be putting back on, that's for the water temperature. But I need to get this temperature sensor for the rev installed into this as well. And it's got a different type of fitting on it. So I'm gonna have to drill out this head, tap it, and put in this new temperature sensor. So that's the mission for right now. Pop the head off. Seems like it just had the head off this. A couple of times. There we go. I always like looking in here anyway, just to see what's going on. Let's see. Make sure that everything's up to snuff. Everything looks good in there. It's running a little rich by the looks of it. I checked out my plugs. Still a little rich, but you know what? It's got a mid-range lean. I can tell from the Digitron, which is pretty handy. And uh, no, no, no. We're gonna change things up a little bit with the carbs, different needles. I'm gonna put the 800 carbs on it, change the jetting a little bit, and change the pilot jets. All right, now, you know what? I am gonna drill this out. I'll put the uh, Digitron sensor in a different location. Let me see. So I've done some fitting and some looking and some testing and measuring. I'm gonna end up putting that probe in the exact same place as the old probe, but I need to just drill it this hole a little bit and then tap it. Now this is a 13, 30 second drill bit. I don't like drilling into heads. It's just me, but I don't feel comfortable with it. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Get off there. Now you gotta make sure you get all those filings that are there. You don't want them going into the impeller and your water pump, because it is plastic and it will ruin it. That's it. Temperature sensor installed. So for the Digitron, I'm just gonna install a T in one of the coolant lines, and I'll plug that in. So I'll have the Digitron and the factory, which is hooked up to the computer, and that's what I want. So all I have to do now is just bolt this head back on, torque it, and we're good to go. Thanks for joining me here at Power Mods. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a big old thumbs up, and join me on Facebook for our giveaways. You know, we love having you by. Thanks for watching.